Hello, I'm Henry Boyer, owner of Radon Control Products in Hendersonville, North Carolina, here in Brevard to do a mitigation job on a house that tested high for radon. Now our, our homeowner here had obtained some test kits and done uh, radon testing on his own, uh, tested the finished and unfinished areas in the basement, all of which came back well above the recommended four pico carry per liter action level from the EPA. So our plan here is to do a penetration in the floor here and we're going to take the pipe up, uh, go out between the floor trusses into the garage, put the fan there and run the vent pipe up through the garage roof. Uh, we do have a crack around the wall floor joint which we need to address. We can seal every bit of that we can get to. That's a, a very common thing just with the expansion joint and the um, shrinkage when the concrete cures. But, uh, we're going to also do something on this house that we don't normally do, which is to put a pipe through this wall. Uh, this is underneath the garage slab on the other side. So a bit unusual situation here is that this house, this entire thing from here down, is filled with crushed granite under the garage floor. So there's probably eight feet of crushed stone in there, and all of that granite that's trucked in, of course, emits radon too, just like the granite in the earth. Uh, it's a good possibility, especially from footage we have of construction, that there's an open hole underneath the bathtub drain, which would be an easy, easy rate on entry point and also break our suction return gate under the floor. So, quite a good sized hole in the, around the tub drain. I call that a radon chimney. Now we've located where we want to go in the garage with the pipe and in the basement. I'm going to take this little thin 1 8 inch pilot bit, run it through the wall. Uh, we can go up in the garage and see where that comes out. So. And here's our, here's our pilot bit coming through the garage wall right where we wanted it to be. Uh, we'll line that up with the ceiling also to make sure we're not hitting framing in the garage ceiling. I'm using a polyurethane concrete caulk to caulk this joint. We use the polyurethane because it's impervious to radon unlike silicone. And it sticks really well to pretty much everything and stays flexible over time. What we're going to do is do a uh, shop vac diagnostics. We're going to make a small hole here on the far end of the basement from our suction point and we're going to make a hole over there by the suction point large enough to get our vacuum hose in and take a pressure reading here when we turn the vacuum on over there we hope to see the pressure change over here which will let us know we're reaching all the way across and help us with the fan selection. over where we plan to put our suction point. So I'm going to drill an inch and a half hole close to that uh, where that suction hole is going to be so that we can get the vacuum hose in and check for a pressure change. And then we go put our manometer down at the test hole on the other end. In this case we're going to be looking for the difference between the pressure under the slab and the pressure above the slab. We normally have a positive soil pressure when the house is negative in relation to that, it brings the radon into the house, sucks it in. This is a positive four thousandths of an inch underneath this lab compared to the house. We, uh, we like to see a change of at least five thousandths of an inch, ten's pretty good. This one we went from a positive four to a negative twenty-one, so that's great. Uh, and that's with a very small airflow the vacuum produces, a high suction but a low airflow, and with the hole under the bathtub still not filled, so should work great. I've already looked up there and you didn't see wires and ductwork and such in the way, which is always a good thing to check before you run a pilot bit up. While I'm up here, I'm just going to go ahead and cut this hole in the drywall, run a piece of pipe through, and then I can drop the plumb bob down to center my floor hole exactly so we have a nice straight pipe in placement that way. It's more accurate than measuring of the tape. Not bad. <laughs> Pretty much right on my X where I measured with the tape. Measure for our penetration to go into the garage slab here. So switch over to the chisel bit now and break out that plug we drilled. Alright, now we're down to the stone in the floor, underneath the floor, which is a nice big P 
pieces of granite. <laughs> the purpose of the suction pit is it gives a better surface area for the suction and it gives the fan a boost. Whereas if we just stuck a pipe right down in on top of the gravel, the gravel is going to block most of the uh, circumference of the pipe there. So and That's what we've taken out of the suction pit right there. Probably about five gallons of stone. Uh, looks like a lot more in the vacuum than it does when you look at the hole in the floor. Okay, I'm going to try now to core through the block wall to get in behind that, uh, <coughs> under the garage slab behind the wall where all that eight feet of gravel is on the other side of this wall, so. Uh, right now I'm just cutting some pipe to um, get this together, different lengths going into the wall and the vertical pieces here. And I like to dry fit all the piping before we start gluing it together, make sure it's going to fit properly. Just priming all the fittings before I glue them. I like this clear primer. Hard to find, but it uh, does the same thing as the purple primer without leaving a big purple mess on everything. So. And I always try to be cognizant of which way the uh, lettering is facing on the pipe. Whenever we can, we want to face that up against, up towards the ceiling or towards the wall where it doesn't show so much. And I have a plastic J hook here I'm going to put around the pipe. And we'll keep our pipe. Uh, from moving. Make sure we're the same distance from the wall at the top as we are at the bottom. We're going to go with a moderate suction high airflow fan here. I think that'll be the proper fit, and we'll take a pressure reading to make sure before we permanently install everything. And in this case, we're going to do the installation with the fan motor in the garage because we have an outlet there already. <clears throat> we don't need to get the electrician involved. Uh, normally, we put the fan motor in the attic or outdoors. And I'll also, it's here where it's easy to, to check on. There's our rubber, rubber fan coupling to connect the fan to the pipe. So it can be removed for service and also isolates vibration from the fan motor. So that's what our fan is going to look like, except we're going to rotate this uh, after we do some measurement in the attic and get the proper distance off the framing up there. I'm going to caulk this wall penetration and the floor penetration so the caulk can set up while I'm filling the hole under the bathtub. Let's just try to get some sand in the whole big hole here so we don't have to use so much concrete to fill. That way if anyone ever needs to get to the pipe, they can break a little bit of concrete out pretty easily. We have a thin layer there. Mixed up some concrete, kind of runny. Made a chute, poured it down into the hole under the tub. Uh, made it runny so it'll flow and then I'm getting here with my uh, trowel and agitate it. Try to get it to flow into all the corners and around the pipes.